Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be looking at Azure Advanced Threat Protection. In short, we also call as ATP. A little bit more, we will look into it. So before we jump into that, uh, what exactly ATP? ATP is a cloud-based security solution that uh, identifies or detects and help us uh, invest advanced threats and compromised identities and malicious insider actions. Well, that might be a mouthful, but let's go over and again check what it can done uh, or what it can do for us. So it's going to identify any threads that can be compromised, maybe uh, your user identities in within your Azure Active Directory or maybe in your Active Directory, which is in your on-premises for that matter, and any of the malicious accounts or malicious things which are inside. and it reads the entire Azure monitoring logs and it gives you the, uh, on top of the Azure Security Center, we, we, we talked about the Azure Security Center. On top of that, it gives you, you know, the advanced threat protection, a kind of, you know, layer above the Security Center and Azure Logs and Azure AD. Again, uh, it kind of, you know, consolidates information from all those services and gives the, a kind of, you know, consolidated view, uh, view um, that can offer for you so that, uh, you know, uh, what to be done. Uh, or what kind of an actions to be taken automatically in, in uh, many of the cases it takes automatic uh, actions also we're going to take a look at how it's gonna uh, work for in each of these products individually uh, for example we have mentioned Azure Active Directory here uh, now with the Azure Active Directory uh, this ATP uh, can monitor uh, Azure AD and interestingly enough it can monitor uh, your user profiles behaviors and activities a lot of things like that and uh, it can integrate with your Azure Analytic products based on the machine learning over time behavior engine within the Azure uh, advanced threat protection uh, will look for that specific users or sp that specific users typically how he is behaving uh, and if all of a sudden if a if they started requesting more and more access in a bulk and giving them self uh, more access and services they shouldn't be doing in a natural way but if something is happening then it can analytic engine uh, within the ATP will start to understand that hey this point is uh, not in the line so it could be a, some kind of a behavior uh, change so we need you know uh, apply some kind of behavior baseline for that specific user and it will interrupt uh, this potential threat or uh, at least uh, su some kind of you know, suspicious activity on that specific user. So uh, that way we can start using the machine learning backend uh, and understand our users typically behave a flag of any of the suspicious behavior uh, when some something happens to our ordinary users. This all done from uh, reviewing the Azure Active Directory logs and that are saved into Azure Monitoring Logs. So now we talked about the Azure Monitoring Logs. They can um, come nearly uh, from every Azure product. So a lot of ATP does is based on the all the information that it is getting from the Azure Logs. Uh, for example, Azure AD, uh, it will look at the user behavior, but other products, it will simply look at what the users or typically does establish this baseline of the users and keeps uh, always keeps that an eye out of the behavior that kind of you know information normally in the operations area now we mentioned that as your security center is the uh, security center kind of you know uh, bubbles up ending up threats and security recommendations in the previous le lesson but uh, you see here what's going to happen is on top of this it's actually giving you the more information uh, this atp so atp is uh, again it's a consolidated view where you can uh, you cannot only see the security center recommendations but also other recommendations across other services uh, using the logs uh, for example here azure active directory historical logs things like that so again i can't stress this enough atp is really a product that kind of you know consolidate aggregates data from many other uh, azure services and it gives you historic way uh, and it's a holistic way of uh, looking at all the threats that uh, come into your business because as your security center um, for example we may not be getting as your active directory identity tracking for user profiles 
um, that only you can expect from ATP or advanced threat protection and so there's a kind of layering to the products and ATP is at the top uh, taking it all that information from other products also now we can take a look at um, what are the products if you can you know see here this can you know talk with the apps and data and devices and entire infrastructure also you see here office 365 is a threat protection and other other products also can be integrated and it can you know work so if you can you know look at the integration across uh, different platforms it can work uh, you see here the exchange online protection ATP and it can you know work with the cloud app security and threat intelligence all these are the different products uh, which comes into the ATP again uh, it can you know, protect your business it can detect your compromised users you can you will be you know, gaining the visibility of those threats um, for example if there's an email and it will automatically uh, denotation and it absorbs the behavior and network and download files and uh, it saves the attachments automatically you see here malware cache uh, rate is you know, growing up every year uh, to the 99.9 percentage .9 and uh, this all can be done for average of 60 seconds um, our uh, features and enhances limit the uh, impact of the user productivity dynamic delivery uh, would happen automatically and uh, and you get you know some kind of a you know, message within your uh, inbox if that specific thing has some kind of you know uh, not safe kind of an attachment or not safe email you would be you know, getting such kind of you know email automatically and you see here some of them are completely blocked some of them are enabled so you protect your data uh, it's so easy and you see here uh, phishing uh, protection uh, automatically enhanced here with the detect and response automatic methods uh, so in other way as I've been you know trying to tell that you know this product integrates with a lot of other products also and it just needs the base as the um, as you monitoring logs and um, based on the logs it would actually works it can you know analyze the millions of samples and uh, it just analyze and the model generate and uh, generates uh, with the help of machine learning and the base protection policies would be you know, created and good in books are bad, bad phishing inbox so such things can be automatically done here and if you see here the four different ways um, like you know domain spoofing and compromising content uh, within the content uh, like attachment urls text and uh, impressions um, it look like it domains uh, and domain name tricks all that can be you know, automatically validated and this is where you know you get the um, ATP specific one if you just go to the threat management uh, again within the office 365 protection dot office dot com they, this is where you can you know configure and this is where you can check the domain impressions or user impression or mailbox intelligence and the users uh, unknown user uh, or maybe unknown user here so it actually learns the machine learning and it provides the tips when email is received from a first time from a different address and also you can apply here within the configuration like apply safe links uh, to messages sent within the organization so that it uh, safeguards your any of the links that has malicious links uh, within your email and also you can see here report uh, if a users also can be you know, take a, some kind of you know, report so that the phishing or all that can be enabled within the message protection uh, of your data advanced ATP protection URL, uh, URL uh, that's what you know we just configure um, as I shown in the admin portal and now that can be done directly here and you can you know, protect your data leverage your signals apply smart um, heuristics uh, like a malware uh, in the email or such kind of you know and then that can be you know uh, checked in within the your sandboxing and uh, denotation and then you know secures your file and uh, this is the uh, just the reporting dashboard that we can talk about for a minute on the ATP side malware detections and the spoof emails so this is all about the email uh, when we you know uh, integrated and malware inborn and outborn specific uh, data also you can get it and it's not just the uh, brute force or DDoS attacks it can actually uh, does many things to monitor automatically uh, by using the Azure Advanced uh, Threat Protection is a really cool product. Um, that's a kind of you know, bubble up security uh, recommendations and the machine learning analytics from a few different uh, products altogether. 
you see here this is a documentation page uh, where you can you know go through more information on this uh, like uh, you see here it's going to you know, monitor user profile behavior products data identities and reduce the uh, attack surface and identifying the suspicious activities at once attack attacks across the cyber attack kill chain or maybe domain uh, dominance and other information you can uh, do it and if you're trying to learn uh, more about it you can you know always check for the microsoft ignit uh, on the on this of uh, the export the product i hope this is useful for you thank you for watching this